Our lesson is on illustrating polynomial equations. The polynomial equation is expressed in the form of a sub n times x raised to n. In here, a is the coefficient, x is the variable, and n is the exponent. In expanded form, we have a sub n times x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 times x raised to n minus 2 plus a sub 1 times x plus a sub 0 equals 0. There are different types of polynomial equation. We have linear equation. It's an equation which has only one variable term. It can be expressed as ax plus b equals 0 where a and b are real numbers. Example, 2x plus 1 equals 0. The next type is a quadratic equation. It's an equation which has only two variable terms. It can be expressed in the algebraic form as ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Example, 5x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. The next one is called cubic equation. It's an equation which has only three variable terms. Example, x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 4 equals 0. We also have quartic equation. A polynomial of degree 4, it has also four real roots. Example, x to the 4th plus x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 4. We also have other polynomial equations with larger degrees. Example, x raised to 20 minus 1 equals 0. There are also types of polynomial equation as the number of terms. We have monomial, a polynomial with exactly one term. A binomial is a polynomial with exactly two terms. A trinomial is a polynomial with exactly three terms. And multinomial is a polynomial with four or more terms. We must remember that a polynomial must not have the following. A negative exponent on its variable, variable in the denominator, fractional exponent on its variable. Let us try to identify whether the given expression is polynomial equation or not. For number 1, we have x plus 2 equals 0. Is it polynomial or not? This one is a polynomial equation and it is an example of a linear equation. For number 2, we have x squared plus 5 over x. This one is not a polynomial because it has a variable in the denominator. For number 3, we have y raised to negative 3 plus y plus 2 equals 0. This one is not a polynomial since it has a negative exponent. For number 4, we have square root of x minus 5. This one is not a polynomial because the exponent of x is 1 half. And last number, we have 1 half x squared minus 1. This one is a polynomial equation and it is an example of a quadratic equation. Now, let us try to write a polynomial equation in standard form. We have to write the terms in decreasing powers of the variable. For example, we have 3x raised to the 4th minus 4 minus 2x squared plus x. So, the first term would be 3x raised to the 4th power since 4 is the highest degree, followed by negative 2x squared, and then positive x, and then negative 4. So the standard form is 
3x to the 4th minus 2x squared plus x minus 4. Now, let us try to write the polynomial equation in standard form and state the degree. For number 1, we have x cubed minus x to the 4th minus 4x plus x squared plus 5. In standard form, it is negative x to the 4th plus x cubed plus x squared minus 4x plus 5. And the degree is 4. For number 2, we have 6x minus 5x cubed minus 2x to the 4th plus x to the 5th power minus 1. In standard form, it is x to the 5th power minus 2x to the 4th minus 5x cubed minus 6x minus 1. And the degree is 5. For number 3, we have x plus 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 12. In a standard form, it is 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus x minus 12. And the degree is 3. What polynomial is shown by this set? Given x squared for the blue, x for the orange, and 1 for the green. So for the answer, we have 3x squared, since we have 3 blues, plus 2x, since we have 2 oranges, plus 6, since we have 6 greens. So the polynomial shown by this set is 3x squared plus 2x plus 6. Until our next session, thank you and enjoy learning.